Welcome to CG Channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about Curvature Tool. It is the tool that sits next to the pen tool with a tail attached to the nib. With the Curvature Tool, you can easily draw and edit paths quickly to create paths with smooth, refined curves and straight lines. So let's get started. So first of all, uh, let's click F7 and bring the layers panel. And since we won't be working on this layer, we will lock this layer and create another layer. Uh, and we're going to start working on this new layer. And uh, we will also ensure that the fill is set to none. And uh, we will change the stroke color to red so that you are able to see it clearly and I think a uh, stroke weight of one point is good enough so we're going to select the the curvature tool and let's hit tab so that we get a full screen uh, view it's going to be easier for us to to draw so let's begin with the, the circle here and we will need at least four anchor points so consider this to be much like a clock. So we have we gotta start with 12 o'clock and then we gotta move our anchor point to 3 o'clock and then 6 o'clock and then 9 and then back to 12. Every time we click, we are creating what is called an anchor point. Like I mentioned, the anchor points uh, uh, we add control the shape of the path. So let's start with uh, with a single click at the 12 o'clock point and then another click at the 3 o'clock point and now when we try to move the cursor you will find that it is trying to create a, a, a curve you see the try and move it to, to the sides and you will find that it is creating this curve so now let's take it to the 6 o'clock point click once and then move on to the nine o'clock point and it is making these curves beautifully you don't have to do anything and then when you go back to the 12 o'clock point you will find there's a small circle that that appears right below the the curvature tool it means that it is about to finish the circle or it is closing the path so to speak now let's head to the square on the left and uh, again, select the curvature tool, press tab to get a clear view, click once at the corner, click once at the corner number two and see what, what's happening. It's, since we clicked only once, it is still trying to, to curve it much like it did with the circle. So what are we supposed to do now with, with the, these edges? So we learned that for corners, we need to click twice to get rid of the curve and twice again. And then twice again. So every corner, you need to click twice, and not once. And once you reach back, you will find that small circle appearing again. Now let's head to the square with rounded edges so what do we do with this so where should we start should we click at the center or should we start from one of the corners where the straight line begins and then should we click once should we click twice so if we click once you see it's still creating that curve so let's control Z it click twice because it's a straight line click twice again now when we straight move to another side of the square it is flattening the curve which is not what we want so what do we do so we will do a control Z here and you see the corner it is curved so we're going to click on the pivot of the curve which is the center of the curve and then click again twice to, to get the straight line. So here we click twice for the straight line and then not once, twice, let's click twice 
then the pivot of the curve once then twice for the straight line twice for the straight line here again then move on to let me zoom in so that you get a clearer idea so you see that's the pivot so click once because it's a curve and click twice because now the curve is over and we start starting the straight line so click twice and move on to the other other side of this and click twice because the straight line is ending now here click once because it's a curve it's the pivot of the curve and join there you go so now we move on to practicing whatever we have learned here so let's head to another image of uh, this fish here and we're going to bring the layers panel so we need to click f7 and we will lock this layer because we don't want to work on this layer and create another layer and this is where all the work needs to be done we need to ensure that the fill is uh, set to none and we can keep the stroke for two points is good enough for now we can change the stroke if we want to later so let's begin from the mouth of the fish and uh, since we're starting from the edge we need to click twice and for pivot points of the curve once just remember these two and you should be good so we're going to double click because it's the edge and then we will move on to the pivot of the curve click once yeah that's the pivot of this curve just one click should be good enough and then again we, we reach the edge so we double click here and then we double click for another edge here and then again double click because it's it's a straight line so don't worry about rounded corners at this point we'll we'll deal with that later once we've finished uh, tracing the entire fish okay so double click and let me fast forward this so I don't really want to bore you you can try and practice this I'm gonna put this in the description so you can click on it and if you want to practice it uh, you can do that Don't worry about the derailed uh, tracing here. We're going to fix this with the direct selection tool once we're done. Okay, now that the tracing is complete, let's click on the direct selection tool and let's soften the, the edges by clicking on them, on the, on the anchor points. And these nodes that appear just just click and pull them slightly and you will find that it uh, softens the edges and click on this one and adjust the handle and you can perfect your tracing like that and I think this is pretty all right let's check another one we have one more here so let's just use the handle to adjust the curve okay this is done you can even click on the anchor point and use the arrow key to to move them left or right you can even use the smooth tool to smoothen the the curves or the edges if you want to instead of using the direct selection tool so that's another option that, that that's there Okay, I think our job is almost done here. One or two points left, so let's just adjust them. Get done. Well, 
I think the last thing uh, we can do is adjust the stroke weight. Uh, so just move it up uh, to four points. And uh, let's hide the, the original image and see how our tracing looks. And it looks pretty accurate. So that's how you use the curvature tool. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm going to see you in the next one pretty soon. Signing off. Thank you.